On this day in 1978, Tommy Burns scored two goals against Partick Thistle, then was sent off for punching Colin McAdam in a 4-0 win at Fairhill. Any Celtic fan who can remember season 1977-78 is probably still traumatised by the experience and Celtic went to Fir Hill on the 29th of March 1978 in 7th place in the league, 17 points behind leaders Rangers. The squad had been decimated by long term and recurring injuries and on the previous weekend Danny McGrain announced he was pulling out of the Scotland squad for the World Cup in Argentina that summer having not played since October with his troublesome ankle injury requiring complete rest. The team was unchanged from the side that had beaten Rangers 2-0 at Celtic Park on the Saturday and it was just the third time that season that had been possible. Jim Reynolds wrote in the Glasgow Herald on the morning of the match, Inconsistency and Celtic have gone hand in hand this season and they are now at the stage where to drop even one point in the run-in could see them out of Europe for the first time in 14 years. But that weekend victory should have done wonders for the morale at Parkhead and Jock Steen, the club manager, is likely to announce an unchanged side shortly before the kick-off. I was very pleased with Saturday's performance, said Steen yesterday. They deserve a chance to keep that going. In monsoon conditions that at one point threatened to see the match abandoned, Celtic lined up Latchford, Snedden, Lynch, Aitken, McDonald, Dowie, Glavin, Edvaldson, McAdam, Burns, Doyle, Subs, Wilson, Craig. They didn't quite pick up where they left off against Rangers. Bob Patience writing in the Daily Record of the 30th of March 1978. The Celts had survived an early onslaught by Thistle when only Peter Latchford and bad finishing prevented Bertie Auld's men grabbing at least a two goal lead. After surviving that initial Thistle pressure, there followed 10 minutes of mayhem as Tommy Burns struck twice in three minutes to put Celtic two ahead before half an hour had gone. Patience reported, Ronnie Glavin followed up a rebound from one of his free kicks into the Thistle penalty area. The ball bobbed to Burns who coolly cracked it past the helpless rough. Three minutes later another Glavin free was blocked. It went only as far as Burns on the edge of the box and he crashed in number two. One minute later, Burns was sent from the field, along with Thistle's Colin McAdam. The pair had both tried to claim the ball after it went out for a throw-in and tempers frayed. Alan Davidson reported in the Evening Times of the 30th of March. Burns and McAdam made the long unhappy trek across the field for the dressing rooms after becoming involved in a it's my ball, no it's not argument over a throw-in. Hands were raised, but the incident was about as vicious as a school playground slapping match. Davidson might have been trying to play down the incident, but Bob Patience in the record reported, fists flew. On the same page as Davidson's report, the Evening Times published a photo of referee Ian Foote sending Burns off, while McAdam lay prostrate on the ground, being tended by the Thistle physio. Make of that what you will. The madness wasn't over yet, and within a few more minutes, Thistle were reduced to nine men when Bobby Houston was ordered off for two quick-fire fouls on Andy Lynch. Ten minutes into the second half, Roddy McDonald put Celtic three up after Ruff could only palm a shot from Johannes Edvaldson into his path. With the rain increasing in intensity, the referee seemed on the verge of calling the match off but decided to continue and Ronnie Glavin saw a 73rd minute penalty saved by his former teammate Ruff after Johnny Doyle had been brought down in the box. Tom McAdam completed the scoring five minutes from the end with a shot from close in. In what proved to be only a fleeting period of optimism for Celtic, Alan Davidson reported Celtic will be pleased with the points and the fact that they put together another competent performance which indicates a good end to a disappointing season. It was not to be, with defeats to Clyde Bank, Hibernian and St Mirren in April seeing Celtic miss out on European football for the first time since 1964 as they finished a nightmare campaign in fifth place. <laughs>